Well, Tom, it's because of our values. And uh, whatever happened to free speech? You know, he wasn't speaking at an abortion clinic. He wasn't speaking at a convention of people who favor abortion. He was speaking one from his heart. And uh, I, when our first child was born, and we had four, George Oliver said, because the most important thing you do is a father. Make sure that child knows how much you love their mother. I never said a negative word to my wife or about my wife, but in, in front of our children. And in addition to that, why in the world do we criticize what everybody else says? That's nonsense. It's freedom of speech. And George Oliver also said, Coach, you may win a lot of championships, but if you aren't successful as a husband or father, you fail. And I believe that in the bottom of my heart. My wife was an X-ray technician, wonderful girl. We are married for 59 years till she passed away to cancer, unfortunately. But we made a decision. We're going to go without some of the luxuries that everybody else had so that she could be home with the children. It was more important to us that we had somebody there at home when the children came home, either excited or just, but they had somebody to share with. And my wife's job was far more important than mine. And by far, she did a much better job than I did on it. So it's just crazy. And then the NFL comes out and criticizes them. Who in the world are we kidding? How about Colin Kaepernick taking a knee, condemning the country? How about the people in the NFL who have been arrested for mugging different people, et cetera. Oh, no, that's okay with that. It, but somebody speaks out in favor of God. When I, uh, last election, I got on Joe Biden. I said he can't be a Catholic if he believes in infanticide. He believes in abortion up to the very last day. And Notre Dame came out against me. Notre Dame, a Catholic university. But you know what? You close ranks, you march on, you do what you believe your heart's right and proper, and you live with it. You don't worry about what other people are saying and thinking. I, I believe it what he said. And I've spoken to Benedictine College commencement. Yeah. I've spoken to the university since then. Yeah. Wonderful school. Yes. Steve Mintz is the president. done a great job with it. They have a beautiful uh, uh, grotto there. And, yeah. and it just... It's a Catholic university, and he's a Catholic. And when you go to a Catholic university, you speak on things you believe in the bottom of your sure, heart. Of course. I can't understand why people get upset. But once again, it goes back to freedom, freedom of speech. Yes. As Harry Truman said, the freedom to swing your fist is where the other guys don't begin. Will you keep me from believing or saying what I think? That's not right, and that's not fair, and that's not what made this country great. Co Coach, l let's listen to a little bit more uh, of that speech, including his critique of fatherless homes and the negative impact on society. Watch this. To the gentleman here today, part of what plagues our society is this lie that has been told to you that men are not necessary in the home or in our communities. As men, we set the tone of the culture, and when that is absent, disorder, dysfunction, and chaos set in. This absence of men in the home is what plays a large role in the violence we see all around the nation. Other countries do not have nearly the same absentee father rates as we find here in the U.S. Almost on cue, Coach, the, the left and the mainstream media pounced on this, su su suggesting that his remarks were actually racist. Now, Coach, you spent decades shaping the lives and the careers of young men. Was there anything wrong with what he said there? No. In, in 1988, Time Magazine came to me and said, Coach, would you write an editorial on what this country would be like in the year 2020? And I still have that article, and it's just apropos today. What I said about it is a breakdown of the family. Well, we don't have a father in the family. We don't have leadership. We don't have discipline. We end up with people doing what they want to do in the manner they want to do it. And that's not right. What he said is absolutely true. And I feel the biggest thing that hurt this country was a great society where we don't need a man in a home. You have more children, we'll give you more money. That's nonsense. We've gotten yeah. away from the values. I do a podcast, Tom, yeah. titled America's Culture. Culture. What have we have lost? I could write a book about the freedoms we've lost since I was born, and I'm 87 years of age, uh, and my birthday candles cost more than cake. I understand that, but <laughs> let's make sure we understand the values. What made this country great? We go yeah. through immigration. Great. Come here to become us. Don't come here and ask us to become you. I don't care how you did things in 
your country. This is the way we do it here. And, and we've lost that, Tom. 